I'm Dr. Kristen R. Bromley. This video series, which is part of my online music academy, specifically accompanies Chords and Harmony books 1 and 2 from my Method book series. Like all my books, this selection is available to purchase through Amazon and Google Play. For help, see the links in the description below. In the videos which are part of this specific course, I progress through the lessons in Chords and Harmony books 1 and 2, explaining and demonstrating concepts and playing each of the songs and exercises contained therein, so you can hear how they sound and play them right along with me. You are of course welcome to view these videos with or without the book, but with the book you can work through all the songs and exercises, and in the process learn all the various types of chords used to play music on the guitar and master your chord playing abilities. Alright, let's get to jamming in this lesson. Welcome back. Here we are in lesson 19. This lesson is on suspended four chords or sus four chords. Love these cool sus sounds. We occasionally hear them in the music that we're playing. In classical music and classical music theory, we look at suspensions a, a, a little differently than we do maybe with pop music and a lot of guitar playing where we actually refer to suspensions as chords themselves. Um, they oftentimes resolve or is it sort of a non-harmonic uh, treatment that happens in classical music? But we're going to explore it as the how that we look at look at them from the guitar standpoint, from pop music standpoint, folk music standpoint, and so on. So sus chords. Uh, what happens is we normally have the root, third, and fifth that makes a chord. So we've learned about that. So what we're going to do is replace the third with the fourth. If it's a major third, it's only one fret higher than the third, and if it's a minor third, it's two frets higher. So the chord symbol itself has the root, and then it's got the word sus4. Sus4 is the most common type of suspended chord. Um, sometimes we have a sus2 as well, which we're going to learn about in the next lesson, in lesson 20. But because it's the common one, a lot of times you'll actually just see the word sus written there. And you've got some more examples on page 129 for you. You've also got written out uh, showing you for a C, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, that we're taking the C and then instead of the E, we have the F now. C, F, and G creates that sus chord. C, sus four. versus the C major. And of course, in our voicings, we can double things, and so our voicings are gonna be a little more spread out, and we're gonna play, play them a little bit more involved. So that's a little bit of the theory, and uh, let's go ahead and look at the chord forms. There on page 129, you have the little diagram for movable shapes. Let's look at those. So those are taking our bar chords and turning them into suspensions. Um, I'm at the G, so I'm and I'm playing my sixth string form here. If I was playing a major chord making this G major, it would be a so. The third of that chord is what my middle finger is playing. So at the fourth fret on the third string. That's the third, so it needs to go one fret higher, and I have a suspension. So there's the bar chord sixth string form, uh, sus form there, sus version. The fifth string, if we play off the C, so at the fifth string, we'd have our, our normal A shape to play a C major chord. Either way. Now, uh, on this one, the third is what's at the fifth fret of the second string. So to suspend it, I go one fret higher. I could finger that with three fingers, um, two, three, and four, or I can do a little bar and then put my pinky down probably not play the top string at all. So that showing there has the top string ringing using fring fingers two, three, and four. But I could also, I often will just grab it by doing the, having the bar and throwing the pinky on. Because a lot of times when we're playing these, we just start going up from a normal chord. We're creating this suspension which has this lift in energy and then we're going on to another chord or we're going back to that to that regular chord. So those are the movable shapes. Um, let's look at the open, the open chord shapes. So we have an A. You'll see that just one finger up turns that into, or you can finger it one, two, three. You can do any of these fingerings you want. The fingerings are just suggested. 
Um, but it's the same kind of thing. Our third is there on the second fret of the second string. We go one fret higher, and we have A sus4. On the B chord, uh, this one's actually in first position. We could play a B bar chord if we wanted to, and that would be completely okay. With the open strings on top, we have the root and now the fourth, um, so we can actually just play root five, root, root four, if you want to play it that way, instead of the bar chord version. Both feasible options. And then we've got the C. So from our normal chord, we have the third is on the second fret, fourth string, and the open string, uh, is, uh, top string, those are both the thirds. So if I raise both of those, I put a little bar and then raise it there on the fourth fret, or a third fret of the fourth string. And I get an F, or I get a C sus4. And the D sus4, our third is the top string, second fret, so it goes one fret higher. And I get the D sus4. E sus4, we talked about a little bit. My, my third is at the first fret of the third string. It goes one fret higher, and I have E sus4. The F, my third, second fret, third string, go one fret higher. And I've got my F sus4. On the G, we have two. We have one here at the second fret and the open second string. I could potentially raise both of them. The version you have uh, there on page 129 simplifies it just a little bit by muting that second string, saying I'm not sure we need to clutter that up and have it all together there. So there's the open chord shapes. Now as we pro progress through this lesson, there's 12 chord progressions, a great opportunity to practice with these. These progressions can be done with the movable forms, um, the whole progression can be done with the movable forms, or they can all be done as well with open, open forms. As I go through it, I'm going to do them with the open forms in demonstration. I won't then again do them with the movable forms, but you could play along again if you'd like to with the movable forms. Or if the movable forms are the ones that you're interested in, you could just do the lesson um, while doing those with the movable forms. I may do this first one with both, but as we proceed through the lesson, I won't take the time to do that on all of them. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in to playing these, uh, these progressions. We're gonna start with number one, page 129, pop music progression I6. Okay, so here we are with number one, pop music progression I6. I'm gonna first look at this with the open position chords. So we, we start out with an A chord, no problem. Then we have our A sus4. So you'll remember that an A sus4, pinky just pinky, or you can refinger it if you want. Um, a lot of times how I finger it depends on what came before it. And so I'm just in this case adding my pinky to sort of change it because I can't put my index over without changing them, but I could also do it that way. Either way, however you'd like to finger it, but we're going to have A sus4, and we got the D sus4, where the third was on top, so when you see that form there, you're just going to go one fret higher. Index for me is at the second fret, third string, um, middles at the third fret, second string, and then pinkies at the third fret, first string. And we're gonna have E sus4, which we just looked at, but we take our E chord, and I use my pinky, um, which is one way to do it, and then you've also got a suggested fingering of one, two, three. Any old way you wanna do it is okay. Um, I, a lot of times, will grab it with two, three, and four because I'm playing that E chord up to it. Okay, the strumming pattern is down, down, up, up, down, up. Mm, mm, mm. One, Two, a one, two, ready, we've got A, A sus4, D sus4, D sus4, it slows down, A, A sus4, D sus4, D sus4, let's do it again, and A, A sus4, D sus4, D sus4, Four, E sus four, and back to A. 
Okay, so that's doing it there within first position. Um, let's look at it with the bar chords. We have an A, we'll just do it here in the middle. We have an A, fifth fret, sixth string, our normal major, sixth string form, and then if we want to go to the sus, we've got fingers two, three, and four. So using that sixth string form, um, my fingers two, three, and four, our strings five, four, and three at the seventh fret. Then we go to D sus four, we're still barring at the fifth fret. My index is on the D on the fifth string. My A shape, uh, pinky above, makes it suspended. So I got my fifth string form on there. Looks kind of like an A sus four, only it has a bar in front of it in a different position. So we have D sus four there. And then E sus four, D to E is two frets higher, same string, so I'm up to my E sus four. So we're gonna have A, a sus4, D sus4, E sus4. Let's go ahead and do it. Down, down, up, up, down. One, two, a one, two, ready, and A. A sus4, D sus4, E sus4, again. A, A sus4, D sus4, E sus4. Sus4, E sus4, let's actually do it a fourth time. A, A sus4, D sus4, E sus4, and then we end there on A. Alright, let's flip over to page 130 now, and we'll do number two. Um, we've got the D chord, so we're looking, first, looking in first position here. We got D, and then D sus4. Just raise my pinky up, and we've got G. I'm going to use the four finger G, so index second fret, uh, fifth string, middle third fret, sixth string, and then ring and pinky on the third fret on the top two strings. And we've got A to A sus four. So these are chords we've already been using. Let's go ahead and go with this one. We've got down, down, up, down, up, down, up, one. Two up three up four up one two up three up four up here we go one two ready and we have D D sus four G A A sus four and D D sus four Okay, let's also look at this one uh, with the movable shapes. So I'll have a second example here of doing that. We have our D major chord, fifth fret, fifth string is my root, and then uh, it's my A shape or my fifth string form. Then we're going to make that into a D sus4. We did this just like last time. Uh, we've played D sus4 before, raising, raising that up to a sus with our pinky, or um, you could use your fingers if you want, two, three, and four. And then we have G, 3rd fret, 6th string form, A, and to the A sus4. So down, down, up, down, up, down, up, 1, 2, up, 3, up, 4, up, D, up to D sus4.
Okay, let's take a look at number three now. In this one, we're using the same type of chords that we have. There's nothing new, so we're just going to go ahead and do it in first position. We have a strumming pattern down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. There's a few places within this one where we're going to be playing two chords per bar. Take a look at the second measure. We have down, up, down, up. So on that up strum, we want to catch the A sus four. Down, up, down, up. So down, up, down, up. It's going to anticipate. And this is kind of a cool lift that happens with this suspension. We got A, A sus four, propelling us forward uh, to a different chord. So here we go. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, ready, and A, A sus four, A, A sus four, A, B, B sus four, B, A sus four, E, B, A, A sus four, Okay, and you could repeat that with the bar chords as you want. As I continue, I won't be doing those most of the time. So let's take a look at number four now. This one uses a D and the D sus four, so we just have to add our pinky there. And then it also uses A sus four. For the strumming pattern on this one, we're going to superimpose a 12 8 feel in the 4 4. So da, 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 down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 one. We'll have D, just like that. Let's practice this slow first, and then we'll speed it up. So D, D sus four, D sus four, again D, D sus four, D, A sus four. Speed it up now. Down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 down. One, two, three, and a go and a. Let's look at number five, pop music progression M6. This one's going to introduce us to a couple new chord forms now. So we're going to have the G sus4. You can if you want. When you have the fingers to do it. You can put your ring finger there on that second. So have middle finger on the third fret, ring finger on the third fret, sixth and fifth strings, index all the way on the first fret, pinky all the way up on the third fret. It's a big reach, which is why it's totally fine. To grab your pinky and your ring finger and then mute the fifth string and grab, grab 
grab first fret, second, second string there with your index. And then ring finger and pinky, third fret, top and bottom strings. The F sus4, you recall our A is there in the middle, and it's got to go up a fret. So we're going to bar, like normal, the first two strings, first fret, and then ring finger and pinky go on the third fret, fourth and third strings. Uh, okay, and we're gonna go down, up, mute, down, up, down, up, down, up, mute, down, up, down, up, one, two, a one, two, ready, and. Okay, let's move on to number six, pop music progression N6. Let's first look at the chords. So we have E up to E sus4. So again, our index finger's on the third, at the first fret of the third string. We're going to replace that. You can replace it with your pinky if you want, or you can do fingers one, two, and three. You could also finger it with your fingers in the middle, the way we finger A. So you have some different options there. Uh, B sus4. So my root and my my uh, ring finger, they're basically playing the shape of a power chord and then using open strings on top. My index finger, 5th string, 2nd fret, ring finger, 4th string, 4th fret, pinky, 3rd string, 4th fret, open top 2 strings. Okay, so the strumming pattern for this one is down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now this is a double time feel thing. It's meant to go kind of fast. But let's first just practice it slow. Now when we have these two chords per bar, we're going to switch on that up strum right through the middle of the, of the pattern. So down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. We're anticipating a chord coming in down. Again and down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, again and down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now I'm keeping it in the wrist because as we speed up, I gotta keep it tight. On the next part, we're gonna have down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So the E sus four. So let's try it kind of slow as if it wasn't in double time to kind of get used to it. So we're going to have down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 down,
kind of fun. All right, let's go on over to the next page. We'll do number seven now. Okay, so here we are with number uh, seven on page 131. Pop music progression 06. We've got G sus4. We've played this one before. But we now are going to add C sus4. So with C sus4, we have that third of the chord on a normal major chord is, is the high string and also second fret at the fourth string. So both of those need to come up by a fret, um, or I have to mute one one of them. But I'm going to take my middle finger, is going to now be replaced by my fourth, my fourth finger, my pinky, third fret, fourth string, and then on the top string I'm just going to flatten out and bar across these top two strings, and leave the G string open. So there's my C sus4. This one uh, has E sus4, we've done that one before, it also has A sus4, which we've done before, and B sus4, which we've done before. And then a reminder about C add 9, which is going to appear in this one. It's a little less familiar, so index, 2nd fret, 4th string, middle, middle finger, 3rd fret, 5th string, uh, ring and pinky, 3rd fret, 2nd, and top strings. Alright. The strumming pattern for this one, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. One, two, one, two, here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and do number eight, pop music progression P6. With this one, we're uh, we're using an F sus4. We've only used that a little bit, but again, our third for the F chord is second fret, third string. So we're gonna want to raise that by by one fret. We got B sus4, E sus4, G sus4. Okay, and we got down, up, slap, down, up, down, up, down, up, slap, down, up, down, up, down, up, slap, down, up, down, up, one, a two, a one, two, ready, and C sus four. Alrighty, let's take a look at number nine, Q6, pop music progression Q6. Um, this one doesn't add any new chords to it, we've done them all before, but we're going to do a different strumming pattern. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, one, two, ready, and C sus4.
right, let's flip over now to page 132. Okay, so here we are on page 132 with number 10, Pop Music Progression R6. We don't have any new chords in this one, just uh, using E sus4 and A sus4. We're going to use down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So here we go. One, two, a one, two, ready, and we have E. Sus4, A sus4, and A again. E sus4, A sus4, and A, and E. E sus4, A sus4, and A. Alright, moving on to number 11, Pop Music Progression S6. So this one again, we're not going to be practicing with any new uh, chords. But we do have a, quite a few of them in there and we're going to be in 3-4 time. So we haven't done that yet in this lesson, <clears throat> we're, but we're going to do that. So we got A sus4 though, D sus4, C sus4, F sus4, E sus4, A sus4, G sus4. So we get to practice with a lot of them, plus our normal A's and, and E's and D's. So we'll go ahead and do that. Down, down, up, down, up, one, two, up, three, up, one, two, up, three, up, one, two, up, three, up. Here you go. One, two, three, three, two, one. A sus4. Alright, number 12, pop music progression T6. We're gonna do the down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up. No new chords, just an awful lot of them. Good practice. So we'll go ahead and do it. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up. Up, down, up, down, 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 up. One, two, ready, and we have G.
that finishes up with this lesson on suspended force. Most of those exercises I just went through personally with you and did the first position chords. And of course, you're welcome to do any of those with movable chords. It's a great thing to do. Hope that's a good introduction and uh, development of the ability to play sus chords. We see those from time to time in all types of music that we play guitar on, especially our pop and uh, our pop music, and occasionally in in folk and country and and. Uh, jazz and so on. So the next lesson we're going to be doing is lesson 20 on suspended two chords. So sometimes instead of replacing the third with the fourth, we replace it with the two. So we're going to talk about that in the next lesson and learn some sus two chords. Happy playing. I hope you're enjoying the guitar and I'll catch you next time. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. For help with other guitar playing skills, check out more of my method books and the numerous lessons available as part of my online academy here on YouTube. You can find more information about me and my products at kristenbromley.com. Take care.